hi welcome to my channel today will be another will i buy it i post these videos every other tuesday usually i skipped one and i go over all the newest releases all the newest makeup releases sometimes skincare that are posted on trend mood one's page on instagram if you're unfamiliar with the style of video it was created by samantha march and she and other content creators generally post this video one time a week but i don't post as frequently as they do so i do mine every other week and so we just go through all of these products and tell you if we would buy it or not. For me, it's generally a would I buy it? If I had the funds and the money, would I go out and buy this product? A lot of the times I would buy it, but I don't because I'm on a restricted budget for myself. And so a lot of times it's a yes if I had the money. And sometimes there's straight up no's and those are always the fun ones to go through. Before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe, also like this video, and share it with your friends. But let's get started with this Will I Buy It. I'm going to scoot my chair over to the side so we can insert some pictures. Generally, I film this video the Sunday before I'm posting, but this week I'm actually filming on Saturday because my best friend is coming into town and I don't want to not film this video and miss filming it this video because I'm hanging out with her and lost track talk, talk of time. So instead I'm filming on on Saturday. So I'm gonna be a little bit premature with my endings on the trend mood page, but I'm still getting a video up and that's what counts. Let's start here because I feel like this is kind of where we left off. So this is available now from Viseart. It's the Soleil Le Plug Tendu. Probably totally butchered that, but it is what it is. It's an eyeshadow palette for $44. Um, it is very beachy. How pretty, but I'm gonna say no. I don't have any Viseart palettes, and I know that they're supposed to be pretty good palettes, and a lot of makeup influencers have Viseart, but it's just, it's not my journey yet, so maybe one day. ColourPop revealed new color sticks, um, new shades. They had a few come out with their Lemon Cello collection, and so now they have some more coming out, available April 13th. <laughs> So by the time you're watching this, they're live already. So I would not buy these. Some new products revealed from Naturum Skin, a fermented Camellia Creamy Cleansing Oil for $20 and a fermented rice enzyme cleanser for $18. Usually on any skin skincare products, my answer is no. I don't like to try things until they've been heavily reviewed by others. So that'll be a no. I know we spoke about this last time. Um, it's available now. It is the Rare Beauty Eyeshadow Palette, True to Myself, with seven shades for $29. And I went back and forth about it during the Sephora VIB sale, and I did not purchase it. So no, I would not and will not buy it. At least not now anyways. Maybe in the future, but and it is affordable for an eyeshadow palette, but it was a no for me. Available now. Why do I even talk about it? But let's do it anyways. Benefit Cosmetics online at Sephora Friends. Each palette includes blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. So I have enough Benefit face palettes. So I'm going to say no on these. Revealed from Chantecaille is the Flower Power Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And the Flower... Oh, there's several things. Flower Power Cheek Shade Lip Cheek Lipstick in... Capuchin travel buff and blur brush. It has no prices, but Chantecaille is usually very pricey. The packaging is beautiful, but I will not purchase this. And even if I had the funds, I probably wouldn't just because it's on the more expensive end of things, of makeup products. Revealed were new eyeshadow quads, <laughs> eyeshadow palette quads from ColourPop. So they came out with six new quads, which is really nice because the previous quads they came out with were for the Animal Crossing collection, which I don't care about anything cartoony. I like these that they're a clear, um, that they're clear in the front. They have two matte shadows. Does it say two mattes, a metallic and a glitter metallic? So these retail for nine dollars. I was not considering this, but I did make a Sephora purchase, which I'll probably talk about a little bit later. So I did throw one of these in here. Which one did I throw in? Maybe cream soda? No, 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 no. I think it was the purple one, sorbet. I actually have no idea. I'll have to update you because I don't remember. But I did end up buying one. And I wouldn't mind having one of the neutral ones as well because I think that those are going to be really nice for travel. 
revealed a new sugared coffee almond milk scrub from Drunk Elephant. A body scrub, but it has no other information about pricing. I'm going to say no. I like body scrubs, but I don't love them. Um, I don't like getting this stuff all over the place. So I'm very particular about my body scrubs. Revealed a new collaboration from L'Oreal and Ellie Sab. I think is how you say it. Glosses, lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes, and mascara. Available now in Australia. Well, I can't buy it even if I want to. Um, it looks nice. The packaging is beautiful. Those lipsticks are particularly beautiful. So if it does come to the States, I may pick up one of those really pretty looking lipsticks. But otherwise, it's going to be a big old no for me. New from Pharmacy is a new makeup melting cleansing balm in Sweet Apple Clean for $34. People rave about their other one. It's like the Green Goddess cleansing balm. I'm not into cleansing balms. This is this looks really neat and I'd be willing to try it in a sample form, but I will not buy this. Revealed by Hip Dot and Rhesus. Mmm, I want a Rhesus. A Rhesus collection, including some palettes, lip balms, brushes, and then the bag in full set. Ranging from $16 to $74. Well, mostly $14 to $16 unless you buy the whole thing at $74. Oh, it's even fragranced with um, the peanut butter cup smell. So... I don't like, and this is not cartoony, but I don't like cartoony or food-inspired makeup products generally. All this is doing for me is making me want to get some Reese's peanut butter cups or Reese's pieces. So um, this is a no for me. Revealed a new collaboration with I Heart Revolution and Disney. It's the Aristocats Marie Collection. It includes highlighters, lashes, lip gloss, mirror, eyeshadow palette, and a brush. Um, all these products range from seven to twenty dollars. It's a cute collection, but again, I don't buy cartoony products. Aristocrats was a cute little Disney movie, not their most popular, which is kind of surprising that there's a collection for it because I feel like a lot of people don't know what Aristocrats is. Um, and it looks very cute, but it's a no from me. Available now at Sephora from Cora Organics is the Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. It's $58 and then you can buy a refill for $46. Ooh, I love how it's gold. It looks so fancy. But you know my take on skincare. It's a no. Revealed from MAC Underground Program. Taking us back to a cult favorite lip gloss. Squirt Balm. A balm gloss hybrid with a melting texture. No stickiness. Blah, 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 blah. Limited to a thousand pieces. Well, I, I hope that for their sake it's sold out because I don't know what this is, but I don't want it. It doesn't call my attention at all. So that's a big fat no for me. Available now from the Huda Beauty line of products. So first the Wishful Yo Glow Tropical Fruit Enzyme Scrub, which they already have, but I think this is a different scent for $21. I have considered this product, not this scent, but just the Wishful Exfoliator, but I'm still meh. Also, Baby Bake Mini Easy Bake Loose Setting Powders for $19, and then a Jumbo Heart Powder Puff. So, it's pretty cute, those little powders. I like the little poofy thing it has in it. It's kind of cute, but it's a no from me. Available now from Illamasca is Color Correcting Bronzers and a Hydro Lip Tint. Tronwood wants to know, what did I get? None. None of this. I don't like this color block style of makeup. It is just not, not my journey. So that's a no. Being so negative Nancy today. Sorry if your name is Nancy. No, no disrespect. Revealed new liquid lipstick formula from Hourglass, the Velvet Story Lip Creams. It looks like they're coming out with six colors for $36. Now, I feel like as a whole, we should all be going back to liquid lipsticks because we have to wear facial masks out in public and I feel like that's here to stay for a very long time. However, I don't like liquid lipsticks. I prefer glossy lips. So there's this whole like back and forth on what to do. So I feel like I'm going to stick with the few liquid lips that I have and that's a long way of me just saying no, I'm not gonna buy this product. So let's, let's move on. ColourPop revealed some new five pan eyeshadow palettes for $10 each, a green, red, purple, pink, and blue one. These have already gone live. I almost added Cashmere Forever 
to my cart when I made that Sephora purchase, Sephora purchase, when I made the ColourPop purchase. But then I was like, ooh, do I want the green one, High Society? Do I need a ColourPop palette? And this whole back and forth went, so I did not buy one. They are really cute, but I really love the 12 pan palettes. And I think I've said this before. I like the nine ones too, but the 12 pan palettes are just my favorite. I feel like it just, it has just enough to make several looks. Um, even if it's super colorful, it's just, those have my heart. So even though I just bought a four pan one, but whatever. Revealed by House Labs is their new PhD Hybrid Lip Oil Stain for $24 each. I don't know, I've never really been into lip stains. This is interesting though, and I feel like I am trying to find ways to put color on my lips that won't transfer to my mask. So that seems like an interesting concept. I wonder if once the shininess wears off, if the color stays, because if that's the case, this is something that I would be very interested in. I'm, I'm in a hard no buy now. I just purchased from the Sephora VIB sale. I'll have a video coming out soon for that. And I just made a purchase online from Ulta yesterday because my moisturizer is down to the last few days of use and it was about $10 off. So I bought a couple of those from Ulta last night online and those will be getting delivered soon. So outside of that, I'm buying no makeup for at least a month. Um, unless I finish like a mascara, I, I, I am not, I'm on a hard no buy. So I'm not buying this. No, trying to convince myself. Available now from Kaja is a heart shape makeup sponge. It's cute, but I don't, I, I'm, I'm sticking to my sponge. I like the, is it the Real Techniques? No, it's the Eco Tools. Eco Tools one is my favorite one. I do want to try, there's a $1.50 one that's online somewhere. I do want to try that one, but I have not yet. Either way, it has to wait because again, I want to no buy. So no to the sponge. Revealed is a new eyeshadow palette, the Color Palette by LH Cosmetics includes 12 vibrant shades never heard of this brand i generally don't like rainbow palettes they're a little bit too overwhelming for me if i want something colorful i usually get it like in a specialized palette like an all green palette or an all purple palette um but i once had the james charles one and i ended up selling it because it, it was a kaleidoscope of a rainbow unicorn fart on a palette I don't know where that came out of, but that's a no on that palette. <sighs> Let's continue. Revealed a new collection from Trixie Cosmetics. It's the Bottle Blonde Collection. Includes an eyeshadow palette, lip gloss, a few lip glosses, sorry, an accessory pack, a mirror, a scrunchie set, a sweatshirt, and a P the PR box. PR box. The PR box is for sale. The PR box. Um, I have not tried any of the Trixie Cosmetic products and honestly nothing is jumping out at me at this time so i'm going to say no revealed a new collection from besame cosmetics it's the marilyn monroe collection that let's see they're gonna have 200 limited edition boxes it comes with mascara lipstick lip liner pencils eyeliner pencils some glosses highlighters a shadow quad lashes a sharpener this is a full full collection Wow, and it's a really pretty collection. Like, that's really beautiful. But, ooh, that color is not beautiful. I'm looking at a almost orange sorbet type of lip color. And I'm sorry for those models, but I don't think it looks pretty on any skin tone. I'm sorry. But that's my opinion. It's not a color that I would use. So, Negative Nancy again, it's just that kind of day. I've been filming all day. This is like video number four or five. I'm just, we gotta put Negative Nancy on the place. Again, I'm sorry if your name is Nancy. So it, that's a no. It's a no for me on any of those Besame products, although I think it's a really pretty, like the packaging is really pretty. Available now from Glossier is their Cleanser Concentrate Clarifying Face Wash. For $20, you know my thing on skincare. I actually have never tried anything from Glossier also, so there's that, but that's a no for me. Revealed from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, the Prep and Set Collection. Prep, bake, brighten, and set your way to flawless complexion. New collection is going to have a hydrating under eye primer, a bake and brighten under eye powder, a face it all brightening and setting palette, and a last act translucent setting powder. It will be available May 6th and prices range from $24 to $39. Okay, so you know that I just said that I'm on a hard no buy, right? But 
I don't know that I can stay on a hard no buy for this because if there's anything that I want from Jaclyn Hill, it is a complexion product that is going to smooth my under eyes and make all my under eye dreams come true. So, uh, would I buy it? Absolutely. Am I going to buy it? It's a hard maybe. And I know that I just said that I was on a no buy and I should take that out of this video, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave that there. Um, but yeah, yeah. That's a hard maybe. May 6th. Ooh, actually, <gasps> May, oh no. I was gonna say that's payday. It's not. It's not. Cause I was like, if it's payday, that'll make it kind of helpful and you know, whatever. I still may just buy it. I'm waiting for her video to come out because I want to see it in use to really determine if I'm going to buy it. But man, I do want some of these products. Oh, <sighs> somebody stop Crystal, please. She is she is in for it. Available now from Lime Crime is a new what golden wet cherry lip scrub i don't have anything lime crime it's just it's not a brand for me so i'm just gonna go ahead and say no and move it along to celebrate earth day ofra cosmetics came out with a special highlighter they came out with the color the mother earth for 35 dollars and for each highlighter sold they'll be donating one tree to the canopy project i think that's so nice and so sweet i did not purchase this and i won't um i feel like this is too fair of a highlighter for me anyways i do i would like to buy well, I mean, I already have an Ofra highlighter. I was gonna say, I wanna try one out, but I have one. I don't need to buy one. So it's a no, no, no. And we're moving. Revealed from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is a three-in-one essential summer palette, face palette, <laughs> that has a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. And it's coming out in three colors. So ABH, Anastasia Beverly Hills, had not, has not come out with anything in quite a while or anything that really grabs, like, grabbed my attention. I feel like the last real thing I remember was, like, the Norvina palettes, which I had zero interest in, I guess, last year or the year before. And whatever they've come out with from then to now, oh, except their brow freeze that everybody's been, like, hooting and hollering about. Um, but this looks really nice. This looks really nice. I really love that the bronzer pan is bigger and then it has like a smaller highlighter and blush. I feel like those are the perfect sizes to keep them all together. So would I buy it? Yeah, maybe. Will I actually buy it? No, I won't. But I think it's a really pretty set. Available now is the Dior Skin Forever Natural Bronze Powder. These are $48. We come in eight shades. I bet that they're beautiful because it's Dior and Dior does everything really beautiful. And then they have these like pillowy looking compacts and it looks really cute and nice. Um, but no, I wouldn't buy it and I'm not going to. Revealed is the Flower Punk Collection from Kaleidos, which is an indie brand. It includes an eyeshadow palette with golden green shades, nine of them, two sets of lip clays and a blue agave lip mask and more. Um, it'll have a pre or they'll be having a pre order ugh, speech therapist. Let's get this tongue roll in. Um, the pre order will start April 28th and shipping will begin May 5th. This palette gives me melt cosmetic vibes. Anybody else? And I don't know what everything else is. I don't know what this lip clay thing is that they're talking about and this blue agave lip mask. Um, but right off, like, initial glance of this i would not buy it and i'm gonna say no Ooh, revealed a from urban decay is the all-nighter lightweight lightweight loose setting powder for 33 dollars urban decay hasn't been coming out with like blockbuster products can we call it that we're gonna call it that um but i mean they're wild west palette or whatever it was called that came out was pretty i didn't buy it but it was pretty and this is intriguing i would love to see reviews on it i if i'm gonna buy a powder though i already said i'm buying the jacqueline hill one so this is probably a hard no for me but i have a special place in my heart for urban decay like urban decay was one of my first loves i collected all of their shadow i shot whatever they called shadow box eyeshadow palettes and I just decluttered them and I kept them for years and years and years for what reason I don't know it was the nostalgia of having them and I finally got rid of them um but I have a love for Urban Decay and I want to always give them a chance so I would love to try a sample of this so maybe I will and that's it there we go
we did it. That was fast, I think. I say that that was fast, but then I go back to go edit it and I'm like, oh yay, you have like 50 minutes to go through and to cut it down. I like my Will I Buy It's to be quick because sometimes I view other Will I Buy It's and if they're like an hour, like I can't just sit through them and watch them all. Um, I prefer them to stay at about 30 minutes or less. That's my preference. So I try to keep mine under the 30 minute mark and really quite possibly if I can, I try to do it 20 minutes or less, which is really, really difficult. But yeah, we did it. Woo! It probably helps that I did this a day earlier. So it's a little bit less content, I think maybe. Um, but maybe I'm just, I might be wrong. What will you be buying from all of these new releases? I'd love to know. Um, are you as hyped as I am for the Jaclyn Hill release? Maybe it's just me. I know that there's, you either love her or you hate her and you either completely support her or you don't support her at all. Um, I still love Jaclyn Hill and I still support her, but that is, that is on me. That is, those are my choices. Your choices may be different and that's okay that we have different opinions on beauty influencers and products. So, um, there is that, there's my spill on that, but I'd love to know if you're purchasing that or any of the other things that I just talked about today. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, now would be the time to do so. Also like this video and share it with your friends and come back to see me. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.